Mount Simiru, Mount Sinabung, Mount Lokan. They are all in Indonesia, home to some of the world's most active volcanoes. They pose dangers not only to the people on the ground, but also to the many planes that increasingly fly through Southeast Asia. Between July and November 2015, eruptions shut down airports at least three times, including the international hub in Bali. This cost Indonesia's tourism industry tens of millions of dollars. Indonesia has seen an average of eight eruptions a year since 2014. The U.S., on the other hand, has averaged 2.5 eruptions in the same time period. So why is Indonesia so much more prone to eruptions, and what makes them so threatening? Indonesia, a sprawling nation of some 18,000 islands, sits on the Pacific Ring of Fire. That's a seismically active region on the Pacific Ocean Basin that experiences frequent earthquakes and volcanic eruptions. On top of that, Indonesia has nearly 140 active volcanoes, among the world's highest. It is also the world's fourth most populous country, and its volcanoes are often closely packed on densely populated islands, so it's more likely that people will be exposed to eruptions. Based on research about the global hazards and risks of volcanoes, nearly 69 million people or 30% of Indonesia's population live within 30 kilometers of a volcano that has erupted in the past 10,000 years. Most fatal incidents that are caused directly by volcanic hazards fall within this distance. Much of the country's critical infrastructure, such as airports, ports, and roads, also lie close to an active volcano. At least 10 airports are within 100 kilometers of one. Indonesia also has some of the world's most hazardous volcanoes, according to researchers at the University of Bristol. Those hazards include highly explosive eruptions and lava flows. Of the 57 classified volcanoes, 12 are considered hazard level 3, the highest level. Regions of Japan, Taiwan, and South America also face similar risks. Indonesia has been working to make better use of technology and information and improve communications to reduce the dangers. It issues alerts on a color-coded scale of 1 to 4, with 4, red, being the most dangerous. The information includes the height of ash from an eruption and its movement. Airlines and airport authorities use those alerts to determine threat levels to air travel. While volcanoes will keep erupting, Indonesia is now more prepared to deal with them. As new technologies and procedures improve the quantity and quality of information in the years ahead, fewer people on the ground and in the skies will feel the blow.